Ruxton Model C Sedan 1930. In production for less than a year, the short-lived Ruxton was one of the most groundbreaking automobiles of its era, as the very first American car to be designed with front-wheel drive. Tracing its roots to the Bud Coach Building Company of Philadelphia, the Ruxton was conceived by engineer William Muller, who was convinced the time had come for a frontally driven car. In 1926, he received approval to develop a prototype, which he ingeniously equipped with a proprietary three-speed transmission that overcame the spatial constraints of a straight-eight engine by placing some of the gearing behind the differential, with the motor rotated 180 degrees from a standard layout. Standing approximately 10 inches lower than most of its contemporaries, the rakish car was eventually equipped with stylish components such as cat-eyed wood light headlamps. The proposed model particularly struck the fancy of Bud board member Archie Andrews, a notorious Wall Street baron who sat on the boards of several other car companies. Andrews pitched the new design for production to several automakers, but, with little interest, he founded his own company, New Airy Motors of New York City, and appointed Muller as his vice president. Stockbroker William V. C. Ruxton was courted as an investor, and the model was eventually named after him despite his actual non-involvement in the project. Production officially began shortly after the stock market crashed, with the Moon Motor Car Company of St. Louis manufacturing the running gear and mounting sedan bodies produced by Bud to a design by Joseph Ledwinka, cousin of Tatra designer Hans Ledwinka, Roadster and Phaeton coach work was by Baker Raw Lang. Much like the era's other front-wheel drive model, the Cordell 29, the Ruxton was a great idea at the worst possible time, and it was quickly upended by the Great Depression. Moon, Gissel, and other manufacturers involved in the model's production all faced bankruptcy within a matter of years, and by 1931, Moon had sunk into receivership, with just a few cars remaining on the production lines. According to the research of Ruxton Authority and author Jim Fastnacht, no more than 96 Ruxtons were produced in total most of which were sedans. The mark will forever be remembered as a pioneer of front-wheel drive technology and cutting-edge styling, and it has grown to be one of the most appreciated of the limited-production pre-war American independent automakers.